G'day guys, I'm Vegas Kev, welcome to my channel. Today I'm back out in the hills and I'm going to be doing some prospecting and hopefully I can bring home some rocks um, and crush them up and pan out a bit of gold. That's the plan for today anyway guys, yeah. And uh, also, yeehaw, I've reached 1500 subscribers. Thank you very much guys, appreciate it. Thanks for following my channel and supporting me and the channel. Uh, really appreciate it. Thank you very much guys. Yeah, so that's what I'll be doing today anyway guys. Um, just checking out some of these these old diggings. Whoop, whoops the daisy. Now, what we have here is a stope and the old timers have dug straight into the side of this um, quartz reef. It's sort of, it's actually a quartzite reef. And they've dug straight into the side of it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little bit of pruning. And um, get right up into that face. And just see uh, what caught their eye. That They must have found something in this rock to um, have done so much work. Okay, looking at the face in this um, um, digging that the old timers have done, the at it, um, I can't see a vein, I can't see like a, a vein of quartz or anything like that. All this face is quartzite. And if you look at here, here's a piece that I just picked up off the floor and I broke it open. And this is quartzite and it doesn't look very mineralized and here's another piece of quartzite this looks a bit more a bit better it's got that rust rust about it so it's had the iron in the rock you can see it's a bit rusty anyway i picked up another couple of pieces here This piece here looks more like quartz. Some more, more quartzy looking rock. And it's rusty. So I'll keep that. And here's another piece of rock. It's that rusty red. So I'll just have a look around on the floor. And any of this material like this, the rusty red, I'll, I'll put it in the bucket. I'll take it home and crush it up. So yeah, as I said, They've dug down there in the floor, but I can't see anything that really stands out, that really catches my attention. So maybe they've dug the, um, the vein out, maybe it's the vein has just petered out. And they've taken the good stuff, and, and they've moved on. Here's another piece I just pulled out of the wall. Yeah, this is more of a quartzy type rock. But, um, yeah, anyway, that's what I'll do, guys. I'll just take some samples off the floor, and then I'll move on, and we'll go and check out some other spots. Okay, I've just dug this rock out of the floor. I just dug down on the floor there. I'm still at the same at it. I dug down the floor, and I pulled out this big piece of um, quartzite, and alongside it, hard up against it, against there, I just broke this off was this um like a vein i suppose you could call it yeah it's and it's um oh it's really soft soft rock it's obviously been crushed been squashed between the two rocks so i might take some of this and and um as a sample because uh, sometimes when the gold uh precip precipitates out of the vein it can be or it can be trapped in material like this so anyway we're prospecting so that's what i'm going to do this is um this is sort of a different type of rock so i'll take that and add it with the rest of the rocks okay guys i've 
I've gone somewhere where I haven't been before. I've just come up on top of this big hill. And this, I don't know if you can make this out with the, with the camera. But this is a big digging, a big hole that's been dug. And that's one of them. That's a big one. And just up here, up here a bit, a bit higher up. There's another one just here. I hope you can make that out. There's a hole just here where someone's dug. And then over here, in front of my car, there's another digging just here. There's the top of your hill. Now this hill has um, a gravel, a gravelly type rock. Uh, like a bauxite, I suppose you'd call it. Yeah, this is a, a gravelly outcrop. It's sort of like, yes, yeah, it looks like bauxite. So, I might have a bit of a look around here. Check out the view, guys. Okay, there's a digging just here. I haven't looked down there, there might be some more. There's another digging just here. And there's one here where I've been digging. So what I've done, I thought, oh well, the old timers were sampling here, so I might as well take a sample. So I dug, I took the top layer off. And I dug down, and you can see all that rusty red material. That's from this outcrop. This is all the all the gravel that's broken down and washed down, probably millions of years ago. And if there's any gold in it, in that material, it's um, it's going to be in this broken down um, gravel that's washed down off the slope. So that's what the old timers were doing. So they've have taken a dug over there. They've dug here where I am. Up there near the car, they've, they've dug a hole up there, a bigger pit. And there's one over here too, a, a bigger hole. I'll just show you. It's a nice big pit there that they've dug. Yeah, so, um, yeah, anyway, I've got my sample in the bucket. So we'll see how we go. Okay, I've come across a new dam. This is a new dam that's just been built by the landowner. So I'm going to have a look around because um, I saw some quartz, big pieces of quartz in the uh, in that um, waste material that mas the machines um, dug it, dug a big hole and it's chucked all the um, all the rock up on the on the bank to build the dam. So I'm going to climb up there and have a look around, see what I can find. Okay, I'm up on top of the dam. There's all the water. I'm on the wall. And I'm just having a look at the material. Um, and I'm seeing plenty of quartz. There's a big chunk of quartz. Yeah, there's plenty of quartz and... Um, Oh, granite and all kinds of rock. And I, found, I picked up a piece of this. When you hold it up to the sun, you can see it sparkles. So um, I don't know if it's pyrite or or just um, yeah, some other shiny mineral. Anyway, I'm going to go across to the other side because that's where the machine dug all the dirt out of, out of there on the other side and exposed it all. So I'm going to go there and have a look around. Okay, this is where they've had an es excavator up here. They've dug all this side of this hill, dug all that material out. And if you look 
down here. You can see the bedrock. It's, I'm not sure what, what kind of rock that is. It might be a, uh, maybe a rhyolite. Maybe, I think it might be a rhyolite type rock. But down here, if you follow it down, this is all hard rock. It's just um, the broken rocks in on top. But if you have a look over in here, if I can get down here without falling in. See that black looking rock there? That looks to me when it, with the sun on it, you can see it sparkles. That looks like it's uh, it's a different rock because across on the other side you got more of that rhyolite. That sort of a, a it looks rot like rhyolite quartzy type rock. Anyway, that's on that side, and it's on this side that I'm standing on. But in the middle, you've got this black vein. This intrusion so I'm gonna break some of that out I'm gonna take it home and just um yeah just crush it and pan it and see what if there's anything in it okay I took a sample of that black material down near near the dam near the water and I traced it up up the slope here where the excavator's been digging the wall and look at this guys here it is here this is that same material. And look how soft it is. Really decayed. Really decayed. There's some more of it here. It's just decayed and broken down, but I don't know what it is. It's black and it's sort of sparkly in the sunlight. So it tells me it, it could be some kind of a, a mineral, maybe a pyrite or something. Yeah. So anyway, I've got a sample of the of the of that rock. And just down here. This is another um, part of that seam, I think. And this has got a mixture of different colors it's got iron in there you can see the rust yeah but anyway I'll take a few samples and um, I can uh, process them when I once I get home look at this rock guys that's a nice, nice rock some nice patterns in it it looks like it's a brush uh, brushiated um, it's an abbreciated rock all those brown bits in there and the white and uh, yeah you've got all this white this is a vein here a vein all this this white looking rock yeah which I think might be andesite let me know in the comments what you think this this rock is guys this white rock would it be andesite or some kind of a sandstone maybe but um, up above us you've got all granites there's all granites up there and there's down here there's a mixture you've got this white what I'm calling andesite then you've got this other this other material which is really soft the stuff that I've taken a sample of that's really soft that's running through the mix and then you've got um, here, you've got a vein of quartz. This is all quartz through here. Just a vein of it running through. So yeah, there's quite a mixture of rocks here. There's a browny colored one. So it's all interesting. So um, yeah, it's worth sampling. That's that black material that I sampled.
Okay guys, I'm back home and I've got the material that I picked up from that gravel outcrop uh, up on top of the hill. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just um, classify it out and all the fine material, so there's a lot of rocks and that in, in the mix. I'm just going to classify it down and all the fine material, I'll be panning it out and we'll just see if, if there is any gold in this um, yeah, broken down gravel. So I'll be back once I've sorted this out. Okay, pan number one of this rusty red material from the from that bottom of that gravel outcrop. Yeah, so oh the old timers were digging there and looking around so they must have known that you could find gold in the in the gravels, obviously. So they were looking. So I'll just have a bow peep and uh, and see if there is anything in this in this gravel, or or if there's nothing. And that's what we do. That's what you do when you're prospecting guys, you just, especially if you see where the old boys have been working, it's always worth having a look. And I can't see anything, anything up the top of that pan. I might have a look under my jewels loop, just see if there is any fine gold there. Okay guys, I'll get back to you with another pan. Okay, pan number four guys, and uh, no, uh, no gold so far, and uh, looking under the jewels loop, I couldn't see any gold, so, and uh, then this is the last pan also, last pan of that, uh, of that gravel material, and then I'll, um, I've got some of that black rock, it's, that breaks down pretty easily, so I'll, I might um, break that down and then I'll pan that out and just see that's that black um, material I got out of that vein out of the out of the damn wall so we'll have a look at that because that was quite interesting because that looked like it had um, looked like it might have had pyrite fine pyrites in it it was either that or mica but that'll when I pan that out, that'll be worth looking under the microscope actually, just to see if there is anything in it. nothing stands out so I'll have a look under the jeweler's loop and then we'll move on okay this is a black material um, that stuff that black material that I, I took from the wall of the of the dam and you watch this see how easily it just crumbles and and that vein of this material that was in between the uh, the two lots of hard rock either side that um i think it was um rhyolite or something uh what do i say it was called anyway it was, it was that white white rock that i wasn't sure what it was so yeah this material just like that just crumbles up this is how i broke it out like that and see how it just breaks up so what I'll do, I'll break it up and I'll screen it out, classify it, and I'll get back to this when I'm panning. Okay, pan number one of this black material, whatever it might be. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's got fine sulfides in it. That's what it looks like to me anyway. And under the, under the jeweler's loop, it looks like really fine sulfides. And this material, 
material has been um, crushed or, or squished between those two two harder rocks that um, rhyolite or whatever it is that harder rock this is this material has come up in between the two of them so anyway it's, it was worth taking a sample just to have a look because the only reason I saw that material was because the machine that built the dam had um, had taken the top off for us so we could see and expose this material okay let's have a look guys doesn't look good I don't see any gold no, it doesn't look like, I can see all glittery stuff here but that could just be those sulfides yeah okay I'll get back to this with another pan okay under the jeweler's loop I'm I'm seeing I'm seeing what looks like very fine specks of gold but I'm not a hundred percent sure because it could just be um, it could be just pyrites fine pyrites but uh, anyway I've, um, I've snuffed them up in, in the snuffer bottle I'll put them back in the pan when I finished here and dry it out and I'll run the run it under the microscope and just see if there is any fine gold in this material I mean it's if it is it's very fine it's not a lot of but it, it's just good to know if it is in this material maybe I could go down there go back there another day when it's a bit when it dries out a bit there and I can dig into it and break some more of it out and uh, just see if I can get get some better material last pan guys last pan of the material of this dark material let's just see see if there is anything in here and that's where I'm seeing all the gold what I think is gold I can see it now it's just little flecks but it could be just be pyrite it could be pyrite and gold mixed anyway I'll get back to you at the wrap-up guys g'day guys well um, that wasn't very interesting was it I think I looked under the jeweler's loop after that last pan that I panned out and um, it looked to me like very fine pieces of gold uh, in the pan so maybe that black material maybe that does have um, fine gold in it yeah but um, it might, if there is I'll look under the microscope and uh, have a look and if it is gold I may go back and use a big pick and I'll break out more of it but I'll, I'll um, see if I can find some some rock maybe that's a bit different in that black material some maybe some harder material and because uh, there may be some better gold locked up in it if there is gold in it of course yeah but that whole area in that dam to me looked very interesting yeah, because there was different types of rocks and um, if you know what that white rock is guys it's fairly hard um, if you know what it is, just leave a comment. Let me let me know what you think it is. Yeah, um, what did I say it was? Rhyolite, I think. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I've got some mail. I've got some mail from from um, Shane Shane from Victoria in Australia. He sent me some rocks, and he wants me to cut and polish them up for him. Yeah. So um, I'll do that. Shane, I'll just show you the rocks, guys, that that Shane sent me. I'll just wet them down. There's two two pieces. This this piece I sliced in half. I hope there's a, I hope that light's okay. It's not a bad day today actually. It's um it's it's been fine all day, so it's good. But that's one rock. I'll just split it down the middle, cut it in half. I hope this camera is doing it justice. Yeah. Now that's a nice speckledy stone. 
but I'll polish up both those halves for you. Um, Shane, here's another one. This this is a nice rock. This is a nice rock. It's got a nice pattern to it. And what I'll do is, because it's a big a big piece of rock, I'm going to slice it. I'm going to slab this. The first cut that I took off, I'll polish up and send back to you. And I might send you back a couple of slabs when I slab them. Yeah, because it's got a nice pattern. It'll make, it'll make a good cabochon, this stone. It's nice and hard. What's this other one? This Oh, yeah, this one here. Um, this rock here doesn't look like much, but when you tilt it on the right angle, it actually, um, there's a silver, like a silver sheen. A silver sheen sort of, um, yeah, it reflects. I don't think you'll be able to see it. I can see it here. It's like a silver, it sort of goes through here guys, through this area, uh, through here, now the sun's gone beyond the cloud, oh that's good, yeah it's got like a, like a silver shimmer going through it, cool, and here's another big, big piece that Shane sent me, this big chunk, and uh, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll polish this up for you, for you Shane and I'll send it back mate it actually it's a big piece of quartz with um with some other rock intrusion in it maybe the, the piece I've cut off it I might crush it up and see if there's any gold in it Shane yeah but um they're nice pieces of rock yeah and they'll be good um good to sit on your mantelpiece Shane yeah so um that down a bit yeah so thank you very much Shane for sending me those rocks and um, like I said to you uh, I'll I'll polish them mate I'll face um, polish them for you and I'll send them back to you and you can put them on your on your windowsill mate with the rest of those rocks yeah cool okay I think that's about it guys that's all I've got to show you I'll put some photos up if if I don't put any photos up I'll of any uh, fine gold, specks of gold, that means there wasn't any gold. But um, I'm pretty sure there is. I'm pretty sure there's some, I saw some fine gold with my jewels loop. Yeah. Anyway, cheers. Ah, at least I got to go out the bush today, guys. That was, it was good out there. And um, that big uh, gravelly outcrop. I'd never been up there before. That was way up on top of one of the hills. Yeah, so, um, and as you saw, the old timers have been there, digging around, searching. Yeah, so um, there's plenty more. It's a, it's a big area. There's plenty more uh, areas in that property that I can go and have a look. Yeah, so anyway, thank you very much for supporting my channel, for watching my videos. Stay safe, take care, be good. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now, guys.